I got a nine millimeter ready to go off any minute so you feel it because of the law I had to conceal it if you fuck around you gonna make me reveal it Jesus dude I'm watching this this Casey Anthony documentary that just came out on the peacock and oh my god she just the guiltiest bitch on the planet you know like how she keeps projecting and saying oh I lie all the time just like my father the same father who raped me as a child the same father with white ass hair but eyebrows that are solid black and I can remember very detailed things about my past but I couldn't remember where I left my daughter for 31 days and during those 31 days I got a tattoo that said the Bella Vita which is Italian for beautiful life it's a beautiful life. I'm going to take you to a place I've never been before. Oh, yeah. And during those 31 days, you're going out to parties, being okay with having a fucking car that smells like a dead body, stealing your friend's checkbook to buy shit that did not include stuff to take care of your child, lying to the cops about where you worked and lying about who you thought had your child for 31 days of showing no emotion. When the cops finding your daughter's remains 15 houses down from where you live with the head duct tape with the same kind of duct tape from your house in a laundry bag that matches the same set that you have at your house wrapped in the same Winnie the Pooh, but Pooh blanket that matches the ones in your dead daughter's room. No, I did. I mention it took Casey Anthony 31 days to report her child missing. God, that crazy bitch is lucky she didn't do this shit in Texas. Fucking have Walker, Texas Ranger after her. Cause the eyes of a ranger are upon you Any wrong you do he's gonna see When you're in Texas look behind you Cause that's where the ranger's gonna be Wow 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 31 days dude Dude if my niece's pug is missing for more than like 5 minutes I start tripping out Like to lie as much as she does and to not care to the degree that she does is pure psychopath. But that's just how women are sometimes, right? Here trying to come out and justify the way she acted at the time and play the victim to being judged by the public that she's guilty even though the court acquitted her of the murder of her daughter. Okay, but if she didn't do it, then who the fuck did? And why did she decide now of all times to tell her side, you know? Like, is she... Promoting to launch her OnlyFans or trying to sell Casey Anthony's hot sauce for your butthole. You know, this bitch goes to sleep every night feeling in her own heart that she didn't do it. She'll probably die and look the Lord straight in the eye and say, oh, I deserve to be in heaven. I didn't kill my daughter. Like, dude, there are men like in prison and just out and about who commit terrible acts of murder on other men and people and beg to God for forgiveness and still live with that guilt. And here's Casey Anthony with her Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer nose spin lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. And when she's caught in a lie, she just says, well, they told me to lie. Who the fuck is they? I swear I've had customers come up to me in grocery store with a rod and avocado and they tell me, hey, can I return this rod one for a new one? And I tell them, no, do you have your receipt? You can't do it without the receipt. And the customer says, well, they did it for me last time. And I say, they, they, they did it for you? Who's they? And the customers say, well, you know, they they always do. Yeah, fuck you. You're lying, dude. And this this bitch is so sick. So sick. <sighs> Whatever. Forget you, Casey Anthony. <laughs> Forget you. Like, I saw a clip of Casey Anthony trying to shield herself from the paparazzi with an umbrella. And, God, I hate when people use umbrellas for any other purpose other than for the rain. Like. When I see people using them to shield themselves from the sun, like, bro, get a parasol or a beach umbrella or an umbrella hat. Yeah, those are pretty low-key fly. But yeah, like, use a rain umbrella for the rain, and that's it, nothing else. And remember, you have to wait until you're outside to open it. Like, you, you if you open it inside, it's bad luck. Like, also, what, bad cats are bad luck, uh, stepping under ladders are bad luck. Putting your shoes on the table table is bad luck. That's also very, very unsanitary. Shit, some cultures don't even let you uh, take your shoes inside. And then there's businesses that say, you know, no shoes, no shirt, no service. 
Okay, but what if I'm like going in there with just a shirt and the shoe and shoes looking like Winnie the Pooh and shit with my lower half just being free? Am I guilty of breaking the laws of your sign? Or can I be acquitted like Casey Anthony after she forgets what happens to her kid for 31 days? Stupid bitch fucking Casey Anthony. She's looking like all evil like the Dark Elf in Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Like she's part of the Dark Brotherhood and she's gonna stab me in the back with the Suffer Thorn dragger, dagger to drain my health and strength when I'm not looking. Like I can look at Casey Anthony and me personally... No, that's a mother that doesn't care a single bit about her child. Like, I have looked into my own mother's eyes when she's told me she loved me and would never hurt me, and that was a fucking lie. Like, dude, where was the talk show Maury during all this? Like, he could have had her on there with a lie detector test, and in between those episodes where he does the paternity test and proves if someone is the father or not, God, have you seen those comp compilations of You Are Not the Father on YouTube? Like, some of those motherfuckers hear that they aren't the father and start doing backflips and moonwalks and high-fiving the audience like they fucking won the showcase showdown and shit. And the women run all the way backstage crying those same Casey Anthony crocodile tears. And that dude still goes back there and he's like, nah, I'm gonna still take care of you like it's mine. Man, this this world's silly, isn't it? God, this world's silly. Sunday waves and makes faces all the time And I'm wondering what I call my own Also, uh, I saw that they're making a Grinch horror movie And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's cool But I've already seen, like, pornos of the Grinch Like, where he comes into the house And there's a chick from Whoville Bent over in front of the tree And the fireplace with her ass all popping out and the Grinch just starts like getting horny and his cock starts growing three sizes uh you know too big or whatever and he just starts fucking her and yeah that plot the plot isn't all that but I mean it still works right like it's it's a better story that than Casey Anthony told us about how she didn't murder her own two-year-old daughter and and Christmas is like less than 31 days away I mean that's the same amount of time it took Casey Anthony to report to the police that her daughter was missing. Oh, and, and yeah, I was seeing how much they pay uh, the workers at at Bucky's truck stops here in, in Texas, right? Dude, that's no, that's some good money. They pay you. They that's some good money they pay you. And honestly, I've never seen a Bucky's gas station. Like I've never been to one. I do hear though that the whole like gimmick there is that they have like the biggest restrooms that are super clean. Do you think they're as clean as Casey Anthony's conscience, like how she can sleep at night knowing she waited 31 days to report her missing daughter. Yeah, I don't think that's that's that clean at all. But but again, looking at her, she looks like she can like lie to the public and herself and live a life with a conscience as clean as those Bucky restrooms, huh? And also Coke Zero, huh? Guilt-free calories. Do you think Casey Anthony? Nah, <laughs> I'm just I'm done. I'm done. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's it. Uh, again for today uh, if you have kids try not to kill them like yeah it sounds so silly for me to have to say that but I guess you know that's just something you have to kind of say out loud nowadays and make sure you use the appropriate umbrella when necessary unless uh, you want me to judge the fuck out of you Cause I'll, I'll judge you unlike the judge and jury who acquitted Casey Anthony of murdering her daughter. And uh, don't go don't go watch that Grinch horror movie. Stay home and watch a Grinch horror movie. You get that? You get that joke? Because there's whores in porn. Yeah. Even Casey Anthony's a fucking whore. A stupid fucking whore. But yeah. Anyways... Again, uh, thanks for uh, listening, and yeah, take care. Bye.